that we're considering today. Um, I had the opportunity to visit with constituents of mine who are serving low-income taxpayers in our community through the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, and I'm very pleased to see that this important partnership would be made permanent by one of the bills that we're considering today. Um, regarding the 21st Century IRS Act, I'd like to thank my colleague, Mr. Bishop, for his work with me on this legislation. Um, the bill advances a number of important reforms to enhance cybersecurity and online access for taxpayers, including small business owners. As a former State Department of Revenue Director and a technology industry veteran, um, I know firsthand that coordination between private sector technology experts and tax administrators at the state and federal level can produce real results for taxpayers. We should strive to harness technology to create a more seamless, reliable, secure experience for American families who are becoming increasingly accustomed to conducting their financial business through safe online portals. By codifying things like the Security Summit and the role of the IRS CIO, this bill should create some continuity in terms of prioritizing technology improvements and improving the taxpayer experience. I'm also glad that we're addressing improvements for small business owners like the development of an online portal for 1099 filings. I know small business owners in my district and across the country are tired of waiting for a more user-friendly web-based system, and this is a good step for them. We should be streamlining the filing process so that they can spend less time and money on tax compliance and more on growing their businesses. While this bill is clearly an incredibly important step forward, I'd like to share the comments of a CPA who weighed in on the discussion draft of the legislation as a reminder that this is not the end of our work. He said, and I quote, finding the funds for technology upgrades is probably the most important issue you are facing, but your colleagues keep cutting the budget, which has been steadily cutting the effectiveness of the IRS for many years. We are at a perilous point where honest taxpayers are extremely frustrated. Fix it quick or it will become too broken to fix, end quote. After hearing from IRS administrators and others over the past couple of years, I think we may be um, in or approaching the red zone of becoming too broken to fix. Just like a pothole that would cost $1,000 to fix today or $10,000 to fix tomorrow, we need to be making smart investments in IRS technology today before they become increasingly insurmountable and expensive tomorrow. Around 64% of IRS hardware is aged and out of warranty and 32% of software is two or more versions out of date. Systems that the IRS relies on to store taxpayer data are failing, and there are serious concerns that they could break down or fail to withstand a cyber attack. These are not issues we can let fester any longer. Let's build on the progress we're making here today to get those systems modernized and really get the job done for American taxpayers. Thank you, and I yield back. Thank you, Ms. Delbeni. The committee will now proceed.